Today we're in Staffordshire, just outside Leek, a place called the Roaches. They're the hills that you can see in front of us. We're going to walk from the Roaches up to Ludd's Church and make it around. And this is a tiny part of Ludd's Church. This is a figure of eight, so you can have a small walk or you can add the extra on like we have. So we're parked at the side of the road, free parking, heading forward to pick up our path. At the sign for Roaches Hall, we turn left. So we just keep following the track. Seems to be a lot of people about. It's only 20 to 10. The track bears off right. That's looking left. But we just keep heading forwards up the track. That's looking left. You're walking with a taxi driver today. And as we get through the gate, there's the view. We walk past Roaches Hall on our right. We go through the tiny gate on our left and keep heading forwards. As we walk through the gate and head forward 100 yards, that's looking to our right, just to our left hand side. Looks like the remains of an old quarry and there's loads of little birds and that flying around. We just keep heading forwards, uphill. As you can see, there's a lot of people about school trips and that, but it's, uh, it's slow going. Everybody keeps stopping for a break, same as us. Just a bit cloudy today. We're, we're hoping the sun comes out, but you know, we'll see what happens. That's looking to our right. Well, that was a, a good old climb to the top, especially in the heat wave we're having at the moment. Sun's starting to come out now. We've got a 360 panorama at the moment, and then we'll be dropping down. Just taking a couple of shots as we, as we go around. Just nice temperature really. Yeah. With that sun's out it's absolutely roasting and you get sweaty, you mm. know. We had work coming up there, won't yeah, it? Yeah, in the sun. Get ready to smell. Right. Candid camera. He's on candid camera now. <laughs> <laughs> Just pause for this now, Ian. All right, how are you doing? <laughs> Just coming off at top now. Yeah. Done quite well. <laughs> You're on news at 10 now, Ian. There we are. <laughs> That's brilliant, is that? <sighs> yeah, that's fantastic. No bad for two old fogies. No, well, you, I think you've done well. I think you've done well. We've walked at top, you've climbed. You've done brilliant, absolutely. Oh, we're going to drop down now. There's flying ants everywhere. We're just getting covered in them a bit. There's thousands of them, maybe more. We left the car park at the same time as the climbers. We walked to the top and they climbed to the top. They've done fantastic. The same as us, they're not spring chickens, but still going. Anyway, we're going to drop down now. That's looking right. And right again. It's just getting a bit brighter now. And one of the rocks on our left-hand side, it just looks like a face. 
just at the angle we're at. We keep going. Yeah, that's where we're going in a minute. Well, <laughs> be more than a minute. The roaches. You can see there's quite a few school parties. And some are learning to climb. Then another school party down below. We keep going. Yeah, there's a, another troop there. There's loads of them about. But it's great, I think. It's, it's a beautiful place. You can see there's plenty of free parking at this side of the road. Yeah, that's where we've been. We turn back round and that's where we're going. Yeah, so we just keep heading forwards through the middle. That's just to our right. That's just to our left. Yeah, that's the rock formation on our left. And that's just on our right. We're getting near the top now, we think. That's just looking slightly back to our left. We keep going. Just above us to our right. We've got a couple of rock climbers there, look. We keep walking forward till the path splits. We turn right uphill. At the top, we turn left. So we're still heading forward along the track. We've just stopped for a cup of tea. And that's some of the view. And it's not a bad old view, is it? It's pretty good. Right, let's keep going. On our right hand side, we pass Doxy Pool, or what's left of it. Just a tiny puddle there, look. Tiny little bird there. Just had a drink. So we just keep heading forward along the edge. That's looking to our left, down into the valley bottom. Because it's so dry, some of the leaves are turning brown and orange. It's unbelievable. Yeah, this one's easy to follow. That's just looking over the edge. Again, we've just had a massive aeroplane fly over the top of us. But we were so sort of surprised that we didn't get cameras out till it was too late. We're slowly making our way towards the beacon. And I mean slowly, we're, we don't seem to have any energy today. Sun keeps going in and out. It's a bit cloudy at times, but very warm. But uh, the view's fabulous. Well, there's the beacon. And look at the view in the distance. It's beautiful up here. That's more or less looking slightly right. We're going past the beacon, starting to drop down. We're making our way down to the road now. Yeah, look at that for a strange shape with the wind and the rain. And at right hand side again. We keep going. We're heading down towards the road now. We cross over the road. Heading forward with the wall on our left, where them people are in front. So we just keep following the wall. We just keep heading forward on our left hand side. Looks like we've got a pretty big rainstorm. Yesterday, 24th of July, we had to abandon our walk about here because we got a 10 minute rainstorm and the visibility after that wasn't very good. And now we walk back to our car. We're back today, 25th, to finish it off. And as you can see, fantastic sunshine. At the footpath sign, the path splits, but we stop on the higher path. That's the view in front. As we head forwards, that's looking left, just down below. 
that's looking to our right. It's certainly a better day for filming today. It's a lot more clearer. We just walk along the ridge, see an old farm down there, look below. And again, we'll just give one more, then we'll keep heading forward for a bit. As you can see, there's plenty of little farms dotted up and down. Otherwise, it's pretty barren, but it's beautiful this weather. Just before we go any further, we turn back round and let you see our route over the roaches. Where them cars are somewhere, there's the ice cream van. We keep going till we come to the crossroad of paths. We go straight over. So we've gone through the wall now, heading forward. We could have turned right at the crossroads and took a shortcut to Ludd's Church, but we want to go over the top. We'll get Ludd's Church from the other side. Look at that on your left hand side. We're only a few miles from Rudyard. In the 1900s, round about 1850 sometime, Mr. and Mrs. Kipling used to go to their favourite place in Staffordshire called Rudyard. And that's where Rudyard Kipling got his name. And we've stopped in the hotel there and walked round the lake. And we must admit, that's just as fabulous as this. The railway doesn't exist anymore, it's been dug up with the beaching cuts. But there's a tiny miniature railway and there's a beautiful cafe and everything at the end of the dam. Go and have a look for yourself, you'll find it on our website, Rudyard Kipling. And if we look through the rocks to our left, into the sunshine, we can see a lake in the distance. You can see that from the front of the roaches. We keep going, we'll soon be turning right. That's looking left. Nothing's moving very much. I think it's just too warm for the animals. But you can see for 360 degrees on the roaches and on a clear day like today, it's magic. We keep going. Yeah, there's our path. We've got a couple of people there walking on the path down below. Yeah, it's giving us a wave. Yeah, they've waved to us. We're starting to drop down a bit now. So as we make our way down to the wall, we see the second sign that says Ludd's Church. We turn right there, following the wall. At the end of the wall, we just keep heading forwards. Before we head forward, let's just give you a quick shot to our left. Everything's golden brown because it's a hot summer. We got caught in a storm yesterday, but today it's hard to believe there's been any rain at all. We keep going. That's looking slightly right. We'll soon be at Ludd's Church and a cup of tea. When we get to this rock formation on our left, we see a signpost for Ludd's Church. So we turn right there, just slightly uphill. So we're just heading forward through the trees now. Within a few minutes, we come to an opening on our right. We think this might be it. This is the strangest church entrance I've ever seen. And if you look to the bottom right hand side of the picture, it says Ludd's Church. Let's have a look. Well, we don't know what to expect. We head forward, walking down the steps to the walk boards at the bottom and then turning right. Let's just see if we can give you a shot of what we're looking at, or try. Not enough room just at the moment. It's just like an old, oh, I don't know really. So obviously it's been a quarry of some sort. Why it's called a church, I don't know. Right, let's go down and have a look now. Well, look at this. 
we thought we were coming to a real church. We didn't realise we were coming to old mine workings. And where the church connection is, we don't know. We're going to turn left round the corner now. And as we go round the corner, there's the view. Let's just have a quick shot looking back before we go any further. There's the passage that we've just walked down. So we just keep heading forward, making our way slightly uphill. As we just keep heading forward, I think we'll bear off to our right, but uh, we don't know. This has surprised us seeing this, but uh, hey, it's fantastic. It looks as if there's an opening to our right. So we just keep heading forward, uphill. Got a little dog at the top waiting for us. I'll get out your way. No, you're all right, you're all right. Well, that's looking back down the tunnel, or the church. You can see the growth on the, on the side of the walls. We turn back round and keep going now. We make our way up. That's looking left. We keep heading on up the steps and out of the church, back onto the path. So we're at the top side of the church now, heading forwards on the walk boards. Within a few minutes, we come to a signpost we turn left there, it says Roaches. Drop down hill 50 yards to the second signpost. Signpost says Roaches. We turn right there. As we walk through the trees, that's looking left. We just keep heading forward to the next signpost. We turn right there, uphill. We're out into the open now, heading uphill towards the ice cream van. We've just stood to one side to let the school party through. They're a lot younger than we are. We keep going. Yep, yeah, there's the top. We cross over the stile, ice cream van's at the other side. We'll stop for an ice cream. So we just keep heading forward now, over the cattle grid, down the road. So as we head down the road and look to our left, we can see the top that we walked over yesterday. As we head back downhill now, we're gonna keep taking a few shots of the roaches. Yeah, we were looking over the top of that yesterday. We just keep heading downhill. Yeah, this is the easy bit now, downhill. Yeah, we're just taking shots as we slowly make our way back to the car. As you can see, there's nothing moving. I think it's just stood still. It's, you know, it's very warm just here at the side of the roaches. Nothing, not many animals. There's only people moving. And then not very fast. We keep going. As we head downhill, we see there's an old water trough there, look. That'll be a day or two old. For horses, when everything was horse and cart. Look at that as we're heading back. You can see why this is such a great area for rock climbing. We keep going. And as we look down to our right hand side, we see a, a line of cows walking in to get milked. And little dog there looking, farmer at back on tractor. Yeah, farmers keeping about 
30, 40 feet back so he doesn't rush them because it's very warm today. You know, you can see the stopping in the shade for a minute, cooling down and then moving on again. And there's the man on the tractor, can you see him? And this is why we love being out in the countryside. And there's a car coming now, I've got to move. Well, I've just moved out the way to let that car go by. And it looks like the farm has stopped under a tree as well to get, to get some shade. Oh no, he's shutting the gate. And as you come around the corner, there's the view. And that's the one that we walked up yesterday where there were rock climbing on the top. If we just keep heading forward, we'll get back to our car, but there's car parking all the way along, as you can see. This is the last shot. We hope you've enjoyed our walk today in the Peak District in Staffordshire, walking round the roaches to Ludd's Church round. You've been walking the taxi driver today. <laughs>